So today's video is all about creating your own soap recipes using an online soap calculator. This is something that might sound a little bit confusing, but trust me, it is not. Um, all we have to do is go to a website and put in the amounts of the ingredients we're using, and it's gonna tell us how much lye we need. Now, before we do that, there are a few things I wanna go over. If you're brand new to soap making, I really wouldn't try this. Um, this is actually how I started making soap. I started right away making my own recipes. And if you're an ambitious person, that might work great. But I'd actually recommend getting comfortable with the process using a really basic starter recipe. And the starter recipe I always recommend is 30% olive oil, 30% palm, palm oil, 30% coconut oil, and then 10% of like a luxury oil of your choice. So you could do avocado oil, um, shea butter, anything like that that's a more expensive oil where you're using just a small amount, 10%, and that makes the soap feel sort of fun. So that is a great starting point if you've never made soap before. It's also a great starting point when you're creating your own recipe because that's really a very naturally balanced recipe. So to back up a little bit, any cold process soap contains basically three components. A liquid, which is usually but not always water. Lye, which is a chemical, a very caustic chemical that transforms the oils. And then we have our last component, which is the oils. This can be one single oil, or it can be a blend of 20 different oils. The point is there's some sort of oil that reacts with the lye, a liquid that sort of carries the lye and activates it, and all three of those come together to make soap. Other than that, there are very few rules. You could make a soap that's 100% vegetable oil, or a soap that's 100% cocoa butter, they would be a little bit weird, but as long as you did the calculations right, you would still get soap in the end as long as you had the right amount of lye. But bringing it back into sort of like a more realistic situation, if you wanted to make a well-balanced bar, you're always gonna want a blend of hard and liquid oils, so some combination of something like olive oil balanced out with something harder like coconut oil, and then you're gonna want a moderate amount of lye. There's something called super fat in soap recipes. And that means basically you've got your oil, your lye, they combine, the lye gobbles up the oils, but there's a little bit left over. It never takes up all of those oils. And what's left over is called the super fat. So if you have 5% of your oils unconverted by the lye, you have a 5% super fat soap. The higher the super fat, the more gentle your soap because there's less lye and there's more leftover oils. So that is a consideration when you're creating your recipe, but your soap calculator is gonna tell you what to do there. So don't worry about that if that's confusing. Um, so the number one thing is balancing those hard and soft oils. When you get more advanced or if you just wanna have fun, another thing to think about is different additions you can use. So substituting your water for something like goat's milk or cider or beer or tea or any number of things is possible in soap making. You can mix things in, you can add fragrance, you can add color, but really today we're gonna to talk about the actual chemistry of the bar and how we pick those oils and how we then take that to a soap calculator to create our very own recipe. For example, this bar right here is 100%, let me see if I can, okay, 100% coconut oil. You can see how hard it is. You can hear what it sounds like when I tap it. It is a cleaning soap. It's not something that you would use on your skin. It has a 0% super fat and it is all coconut oil. So this is an extreme example of a soap that goes one direction and you wouldn't use it on your body because of this. These bars are much more balanced. Um, so we can see they are a lot softer. If you press your nails into it, it's gonna leave a mark. This one has coffee in it, which is why it looks kind of weird. You can see here, it is a lot softer. These are ones that have been calculated for use on people. They have a 5% super fat and a different balance of oils. So you can really customize this however you want. You want some people prefer much softer bars than this and they will use a lot of soft oils and a high super fat um, and all that is personal preference. So this is the website that we are gonna use today to calculate our recipe. I'm just going to kind of do this with you guys on the fly. Let's pretend that we are brand new and we want to just make a really basic bar for the shower. So I'm just going to call this our shower bar recipe. 
Um, here you're going to select how you want it measured. I'd always recommend ounces. Some people prefer grams. It asks you what type of lye you're using. Um, potassium hydroxide is for liquid soap. We're not going to worry about that. We're going to do sodium hydroxide. Just leave that as it is. Um, for sodium lactate, that is an ingredient you can add to your lye water that gives you a firmer bar. If you are going to be using a lot of castor oil, which gives you really good lather, um, then you might want to add some, or if you have a lot of softer oils. For now, I'm just going to skip it. Okay, so now it has basically all the oils listed that you could use in soap making. And we are going to enter in our amounts. Now, before we do this, we have to know a little bit about the basics of what property each oil brings to the soap. This is something that you'll really need to research individually. When you go buy oil from a soap making supplier, it will let you know. Um, typically, not always, typically, anything that's a butter is going to be really moisturizing. And anything that is a liquid oil tends to be really moisturizing too. Things that are hard oils like coconut are a little bit on the drying side um, and palm is sort of in the middle. So let's remember what we discussed in the beginning, which was 30% olive, 30% palm, 30% coconut, and then 10% of extra oils. But we are going to mess with that a little bit just so we can kind of experiment with this calculator. Now it's asking us here to put in the number of ounces. It doesn't want us to put in a percentage that would be easy for our purposes in a way, but it doesn't make sense because in the end we need to get the number of ounces. So we need to back up and start with the size of our mold. My mold holds about 40 ounces, my main 10 inch silicone loaf mold, but <laughs> it's not 40 ounces of oils because I'm going to need some room for my water. So what I'm going to do is, figure that I'm going to need at least a quarter of my oils of that room for water. So that's going to be about 10 ounces of water, which leaves me room for about 30 ounces of oil. Okay. So let's do a little bit of quick math. If I have 30 ounces of oil, 30% of that, let's see, 0.3 times 30 is nine. So I can do nine ounces of each of those major ones. So nine ounces of coconut oil. Where is olive? Nine ounces of olive oil. Nine ounces of palm oil. We have 10% left. 10% of 30 is three. That one's easy. And let's just make sure that everything here adds up to 30. 9 plus 9 plus 9 is 27, plus 3 more is 30. Great. Okay. So we have 3 ounces to play with where we can sort of pick fun oils. I love, in soap, I love mango butter. So I'm going to do 1.5 ounces. And I love castor oil because it gives you really great lather. 1.5. Okay, and I'm gonna say calculate lie down here at the bottom. Now it's given me this recipe. It shows the percentage, which is great. It shows the amount in ounces. Over here is what we really need, and that's the amount of lie that we need. We are going to do, it tells you right here that the recommended range for super fat is between 5% and 8%. And as we discussed before, the higher the number, the more gentle the bar because the amount of line of lye goes down as the super fat goes up. If you don't want to mess with this, as a general rule, do 5% super fat or 6 or 7% for that for a, something that's like for a baby or for an older person. Younger people, people who get dirtier, I always go for 5%. It's a harder bar and it's a lot more cleansing. So now we know how many ounces we need of each individual oil. We know how many ounces we need of our lye. The only thing we need to know is how much liquid and it puts it over here on the left. Sometimes it's kind of hard. You can forget where it is. It tells us we need eight to 11 ounces of liquid. And yes, that is a flexible range. It is fine to go all the way down to eight 
or all the way up to 11. If that makes you uncomfortable, just go with 10 and a half right in the middle. That's not the middle. Nine and a half, 10, I don't know. <laughs> Any range in there is fine. Another really handy thing that this calculator has is you can resize it without having to go back and enter all of that information. So let's say I've, I've gone through all this, I've made my recipe, and then I'm like, you know, I think I wanna double it and also do it in some bar molds. 60, I need 60 ounces. I'll go over here to the second number, change to 60, resize recipe, and it has for me here all of these new amounts, which is super handy. Now, if this is confusing, this is not something you have to do. You can be a super successful soap maker and never in your life create your own recipe. Just like most bakers never create their own baked good recipes, there is no need to do this. But if it's interesting to you and you're wondering how you do it, this is how it is done. So you take this basic thing and then you can tweak this by adding fragrance, color, changing the liquid, messing with the super fat, anything you want. And don't be afraid to make a mistake and make a bar that you don't love because the more you experiment, eventually you will find the bar that you do love. And that's it.